What's up everybody, this is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com and today I'm going to go over a quick mixing tip with you guys. What's up everybody, this is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Today we're going to be going into a quick mixing tip, getting pops and clicks out of the middle of regions. Real quick, if you guys haven't checked out my SoundCloud and look at the five tracks that I'm giving away, the sessions, stems, MIDI, and drums for um, in my new bag up kit, you need to go check that out. It's a powerful production tool. I'm also giving away four um, project templates that lay out in the arranger window the parts that you need to create in order to make a uh, fluent and cohesive track it'll take you out of beat block because it'll give you a kind of roadmap of what you need to create and get you out of that kind of loop mentality where you just make um you know a four bar loop put a whole bunch of instruments in it and then just take stuff away uh to make your parts this will definitely give you a, a direction which is something that a lot of creative people lack especially when you're first starting out so go ahead and go by my soundcloud if you like the tracks pick it up at studio one tutorials.com um so today we're going to be looking at this track that i'm working on uh a mixing project and I'm not going to be playing the whole track. I'm just going to be playing you the troubled area. There's this section that has this has this choir pad and we'll just listen to it and you should be able to identify the problem pretty pretty quickly. <laughs> So we've got quite a few pops in there and you know when you're when you're mixing down and you're working with audio you you want to the th one of the things that separates guys from you know good mixes because anybody anybody can get a good mix inside a DAW nowadays I mean anybody can get a clean sterile mix but if you if, if you're if you're looking for that that great mix quality it's all in the detail work um you know and just taking your time so stuff like these clicks and pops they'll add up in the frequency spectrum over the course of a track and if you know if every one of your regions has clicks and pops it's 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 not going to be um they're not going to be up front but just just them being there in the frequency spectrum it's it's going to show um in an undesirable way that you might not even be able to pinpoint um at this point if um if you're at your skill level and maybe your talent but trust me they're there and there's and there's a reason why you know studios have interns that prepare tracks um before before the big boy engineer steps up to it and they do this kind of work which is how i know how to do this stuff so um for studio one it's it's so easy like this this whole section right here that we're looking at what I need to do is I need to insert some crossfades and I, I, I got to get rid of the silence and rather than go through and, and use the click tool, I'm just going to go to this tool right here, the insert silence, click apply, and then boom, now I've got my individual regions. So for these three, I'm going to do some individual fades and just make it easy on myself. Um, I just highlighted them all that way. Whatever is going on with one will happen with the other. All right, so I'll just go in here and do some quick fade outs, demo it, make sure there's no pops. It's a little choppy right there, bro. Let me see. Oops. Yeah. You could see it in the um on the arranger. 
that's where that, that's why it's important you know when you're adding samples and stuff like that to have to have a zero point crossing you see how this is this is added right here that is always going to manifest itself in the form of a click or a pop so i'm just gonna move my fade over until i kind of make that disappear then i could draw this back don't be a piece of shit i gonna draw this back right here there you go and that should take care of the issue See, now you don't have the pop. It's still, the, the way that it's arranged in the track, it's supposed to come in abruptly like that, but you don't have the pop occurring, which is what we wanted to do. Okay, now let's check these guys out. So that starts fine. That's got a nice slow attack. As a matter of fact, dude, I, I, I know that's the way that that they did it but I don't I don't like that I like the way that slow attack comes in so much better right there right right yeah alright so that's gonna work out much better now these two guys I'm noticing pops in between the chord changes. All right, so I got a pop right here. Let me go ahead and just cut that. Pop right there. that guy and you can see where where he's they're having these abrupt stops this guy right here then what I'm gonna do oops I'm just going to highlight these sections where I'm having that issue that way all the fades are similar because it's it's the same it's the same uh, chord that that's going down on All right Let's see what that sounds like oh, still got a little remnant of it so I'm just going to pull it further back in it in the beginning of that region sometimes sometimes you got to you got to check out the beginning of the next region also and that comes from bouncing out your audio and um you know it being shifted over a couple a couple samples So you can already tell that is <clears throat> so much better than the original.
So again, you want to make sure that you that you take care of these issues um, because over, I mean, imagine if you had 12 or 20 tracks that all had these similar pops and then you're, you, you know, you're trying to compress them and they got these huge, these huge pop jump outs that are, that are coming out, and, you know, and you're working with digital plugins, it's, it, it, it's, it's going to confuse um, things like that. You're going to have frequency issues and it's, it's just not going to lead to a, you know, a super professional sound. You get a good mix, but it won't be a great mix. So quick mix tip this is stuff that separates the men from the boys concrete zebra with craftmaster productions studio one tutorials.com keep it simple don't be basic focus on the details and we will see you on the next one